So from Shavasana, bring your feet onto the ground so that your knees are bent. And just gently rocking those knees from side to side, just massaging into the lower spine. And start to turn the head in the opposite direction to the knees without whipping or snapping across the neck. So go nice and steady. And just move from side to side. And then just let your knees drop right and turn your head away to the left. And just take a breath or two here, just seeing how this feels. Before changing sides. So drop the knees to the left, head to the right. Your left, your right. And then drawing them back to centre. Just bring the knees into the chest, take a squeeze and roll and rock yourself up to sitting. Sitting up nice and tall. Reaching up through the arms, gathering up. And leaning out towards your right. Stretching through and lengthening. And then releasing that down. Take a breath in and lifting up. And reaching out towards your left. Again, looking to lengthen through the side of the body. And release. Take a little rotation through, twisting into the spine. Before rectifying that with the equal rotation on side two. Good. Take a breath in, lifting up towards the sky. Bring the hands down into the centre. Bring the elbows onto the knees if they reach. Keep the hands pressed into the heart and just reach forwards. And sitting up. Reaching up, take the hands behind the head, interlace the hands, open the elbows wide and lean back. And then release. Just let's change the cross of the legs. Balance out the hips. Lift it. Reach up. Taking it over to your left. And release. Reach up. Lift up. Gather. And over to your right. And release. Twisting out to the left. And twisting out to the right. Come back to centre, bring the hands into prayer, elbows on the knees and lean forwards. And then reaching up, interlace the hands, cup the skull, the head and lean back. Brilliant. And then roll yourself over onto all fours. Spread the hands, separate the legs. And just that gentle cat-cow in position. Close your eyes and just feel how this feels in your body in this moment. So you might have bits that you feel need to creak and pop and crack and release. And then just wag your tail. So just take your body round in circles. And round the other way. And then infinity flow. So just working through those knees, hips, wrists and shoulders. Flowing through. And then flow back the other way. Take a pause back in pose of a child. Stretching and reaching forwards. Thread your left arm underneath and come towards the right. And then back into child. Before threading right through to left and twisting to the left. And 
and back into charge. Good, draw the hands underneath you once more, bring the knees back in and just take a little push up into down dog and take a pedal in position here, lengthening and stretching away. And then walk the feet into the center of your mat. Bring your hands back towards your feet, belly resting on thighs. And again, just take a little wriggle wiggle in position. Just looking to loosen off, to lengthen. And then slowly rise up to standing. Lifting up. Draw the energy into your heart, bring your feet so that they're touching together and just sit down into your chair pose, Utkatasana, looking to activate into the legs, folding forwards and down, take a little pedal in position again. chair pose again. See if you can sink a little deeper, work those legs a little more challengingly. And then rolling forwards and down, take a little pedaling position. And again, rolling up, gather, Draw the hands into heart as you sink down into chair once more. And what I'd like you to do here is I'd like you to bring your left elbow over to the right side, seeing if you can find your right knee. Maybe you can hook the elbow over the knee. And then compressing out, come through the center, take a pedal, really lengthening off and through, and then rising up. Sink back down into chair and this time bring the right elbow over onto the left knee if you can or turning towards the left wherever you can make it. Take one more breath here, releasing off and let's start to lift and rise once more. Reach up towards the sky, lift the hands. Dropping out to your right into that crescent moon. Remembering not to bend through the right elbow. Try and reach the hands up and lean over rather than kind of pulling yourself to the right. Lift to center before reaching over to the left. Come back into the center, bring the hands into the heart, sit down into chair. And then folding forwards and down into your forward fold. Take a step back with your right leg if you need to adjust your position. Coming into that beautiful high lunge and drop the knee down and just work on that front leg a little, reaching and opening and releasing, rocking forwards and back. Nice. And then step back onto all fours. Keep that rocking forwards and back going. Think about working into the arms and the belly. Rolling through, pushing out. And then sit back into pose of a child. Taking that left arm to the side, see if you can twist a little deeper, open through and look under that right arm. Releasing off and switching sides, right through to left. And release, slide out onto your tummy. I'm gonna give you the option to do the back bend of your choice here. So you might like Sphinx. And I definitely do when I'm in the 
sort of primary rounds of my practice just to make sure my back feels fully engaged before I start overreaching it. But if you feel really limber in your spine today, then please feel free to take a Cobra Pose, Bajang and Asana or an upward facing dog. And then release off, bring the hands back in, make your way into down dog. Take a little pedal in position again, releasing off. Lift your right leg into the air and step it up between your hands. Dropping the back knee down, just working into that front leg. Working it through. And then step back to kneeling. Keep moving the forwards and backwards. Going maybe a little deeper here. Rolling the hips forwards, pushing the bum back. And then sitting back into pose of a child. This time for a little variation, we'll just walk the hands around. So rather than twisting, we'll stretch over. And then go to side two, your left. Come back to centre. <clears throat> Excuse me. Push and pop through into your back bend. before coming back up into down dog, please. Right leg raises again, and step up to the hands. Don't worry if you can't get there in one step, do as many as you need to. Step in with the left into forward fold. Now bring your hands into your heart, your head is still lower than your hips. Start to drop your hips with your knees bent, coming into chair pose. Reaching the arms up, gather through the legs, hands into heart and pull down. Good, lift up, reach up, crescent lunge over to the left. And centre, and over to the right. And centre. Sink down into chair. Before folding over those legs. Step back on your left leg. This time, don't put the knee down on the back if you can help it, but keep that back leg long, keep that heel off, and just start to move into that front leg by kind of straightening that front leg, lifting your hips up and back. Back heel stays off, we're just working a little bit more strongly, not coming into any kind of posture. And we're gonna step back into down dog. Roll through into plank, knees down, sit back into child. Slide out along the mat, coming into your back bend. Again, your choice here. Maybe you were doing a lesser back bend before and you want to do a little bit more now, or maybe you were doing the bigger ones and you feel like you want to take it back, whichever way, or just stay the same. Slide the hands back, lifting both up onto all fours, tuck the toes and rise into dog. Lift your left leg into the sky and step it up between your hands and pause there. Again, keep that back heel off and just start to pull and release through that front leg. So just limbering and loosening off. And then we're stepping back into down dog. So slide that front leg back into dog. Rolling out into plank. Lowering the knees and sitting back into chart. Slide out along the mat. Into your back bend. Take a pause. And then pushing up into down dog. Left leg is going to raise to the sky again and you're stepping it between the hands and you're going to bring the right foot in as well into that forward fold. Bring the hands into your heart, 
Drop your hips, lift your heart into your chair pose. And then reach your arms up and pull the energy in to complete. Really well done. I do not know what it's like where you are today, but where I am, it's very, very, very hot. So I have got my water here. Please make sure you stay hydrated. So sip as often as you need. Keep yourself well lubricated. When you're ready, come back up to the top of your mat. Lift up, reach up, reaching over to the right. And change, leading to the left. Now come through centre, take a back bend here, open your heart. And then back through centre, keep this here, sink your bottom down, coming into extended chair here with the arms up. Take a swan dive over the legs, folding forwards, and lift up halfway. So slight variations on these rounds, releasing off. Step back with your right leg. Again, keeping that back heel off and that back knee raised if you can. Start to lift up towards the sky. Roll the shoulders open. And then bring your hands into your heart, like we did in that practice. Bring that right elbow round onto the left knee. If you wobble, that's okay. You can put one hand down, you can twist if you need to step it in. If you need to bring the back knee down, that's also a great way of helping you keep your stability. So, rotational twist. <laughs> oh dear. Paramita prayer twist. And then hands to centre, step back into down dog. Ripple and roll through the back. Before lowering down, knees down, no child this time, straight into eight point pose. Ashtanga. And then pushing into your back bend here. So I did Sphinx last couple of sets. I'm doing a little baby cobra this one. Just up to you. Reach the heart forward, really squeeze through the buttocks, reach through, and then climb and rise back into down dog. Right leg raises towards the sky, and we're gonna slide it through into pigeon. Knee to the outside, but I want you to walk your hands back. You're keeping this pigeon very vertical. Lift up through the body. I want you to open through the hips. So my knee is on the outside of my right wrist. Foot coming up towards the back of the left wrist. My left leg reaching behind in line. Try not to have it skewing out to the side. And your body is raised. Excellent. And then if you can, I want you to take your left arm and reach it out towards the back. Looking into that back hand, that back foot. And then bringing it back over, tuck the toes of the left and swing back into three-legged dog. Relax that foot to the earth. Take a little pedal in position. Good. And just hold in dog here. Nice work. Lift your right leg up to the sky again. And step it up between your hands. And then rise up into your balancing warrior one. Hands come into heart. Rotate the left elbow round onto the right knee. Look to the right. Come back through centre, hands down, down dog please, stepping back. Ripple forwards, knees down, chin chest, Ashtanga Mudra. To your back bend. 
and up into down dog once more. Left leg is going to lift to the sky and slide through into that pigeon. So make sure that knee, that was, um, so start again. If you make sure that knee is to the outside of the wrist, then you're going to have an outward rotation through that hip and that's going to give you space. And you start to work on getting this foot up behind the hand and just start to slide that leg back behind you. Walk the hands in, lift the body, feel the weight of the body pushing down through the hip joints. And then lift and rise through the right arm, looking out towards the back, looking into that back hand. We're going to windmill that arm over, tuck the toes of the right leg, three-legged dog. And into down dog. Roll and ripple through, vinyasa. Plank, knees, chin and chest. Stop. Breath in, breath out, push and pop forwards, lengthen through the heart before lifting and rising back into downward face dog. Right leg raises, steps between the hands. Left leg to join, hold and forward fold. Slide up halfway, breath. And down, hands into heart, bum down, heart up. Lift the arms to the sky, push through the legs, draw the hands into heart. Lift up, reach up, lean to the left. And centre, and lean to the right. And centre, lean back please. And come through centre, release the hands, sit down, chair pose. Fold forwards over those legs. Lift up halfway. And release. Take a step back with your left leg. Lift and rise to the sky. Bring the hands into heart. Twist out left elbow onto right knee. And then see if you can open the arms into butterfly. Bring the hands back into heart. Hands onto the floor, step back into down dog. Roll and ripple forwards. Knees, chin and chest and stop. Push and pop through into your back bend, whatever you're doing for your back bend this time. And then lift and rise into down dog. Left leg is going to lift up to the sky. And we're going to come back into pigeon. Take a moment or two to breathe here. Walk the hands back in. And we're going to bend the back knee, so you're bringing the foot in towards the body. Lift the right arm up and round and see if you can make the two meet. So see if you can take hold of the foot on that back leg. doesn't matter if you can or you can't, just seeing if you can reach towards it. And then releasing off, tuck the toes of the right leg and swing back into three-legged dog. Before coming into down dog, take a little pedal in position. Lift that left leg to the sky once more and step between the hands. Lift up and rise into that balance. Beautiful. Bring the hands into your heart. Twisting out right elbow onto left knee. And then spread your wings, open your arms. Hands back into heart. We're going back into down dog, step back. Ripple and roll through your spine into plank. 
Knees down, chin and chest down. Push and pop forwards. And lift back up into down dog, please. Right leg is going to raise. And you're coming into pigeon on that side too. Walk the hands back in, open the hips. Hopefully with these repeated measures, you're feeling that your body is yielding just a little to the extra stretch. If it's not, or if it's conversely contracting, then just please be kind to yourself. Don't overdo anything. Bend the back knee, plant down, reach up through the left, take hold of the foot. Looking towards the back foot. And then releasing the foot, tuck the toes at the left, swing the right leg up and out. And release down. Roll through your vinyasa, plank, knees, chin, chest and pause. And push forwards and lift before rolling up and away into down dog. Left leg raises, steps between the hands, right to join, slide up halfway, breathe and release. Hands sweep into heart, lift your heart, lower your buttocks, Reach the arms up and pull through. Good. Inhale. Exhale, fold forwards. Lift up halfway. And release. Bend your knees. Spring yourself back into plank. Lower yourself down and take child. Slide yourself forwards on your mat, onto your tummy, bringing your right hand on top of your left hand, bring your right cheek onto your right hand, looking into your left elbow. Slide your left knee up to the side into half a frog. And then pushing that leg back, release and bring your hands beside, pushing up into downward facing dog. Take a bend of the knees, drop your feet up to the front of your mat, lift up halfway, release hands into heart into your chair pose before reaching the arms to the sky and pulling the energy as you straighten the legs. Inhale, lift up and swan forwards. Rise halfway, release down, bend the knees, jump back into plank, lower down and release. Left hand on top of right hand, left cheek on, looking into right elbow and pause and breathe. Right knee slides up to the right side, half frog. Taking three to five long, slow, deep breaths here. And then sliding back, reaching up into down dog. Bend the knees, look to the front of your mat, hop yourself forwards, lift halfway and release. Slide up, hands into heart, and reach up tall, pulling in and down. Inhale, one more. Falling forwards. Lift halfway, and release. Spring yourself back into plank. Lower yourself down to the mat. Good. Just allow yourself to bring your hands underneath your forehead. 
Take a little release through the hips and through the lower back. Bend your right knee and take your right hand around onto that foot if you can, pushing into the left hand, just lifting up, looking for that stretch into the quad there. And then release. Just relax it down. Taking the side two, bend the left, take the left foot and the left hand, lift up through the right arm, reaching back and away. And then release. Bring yourself onto all fours. Sit back into wide leg child, so take your knees really wide, reaching forward. And snake your way back onto your tummy. Hands beside you, lift and rise into down dog. And just swap your feet into the center of your mat, coming into that forward fold. Lift and rise through your spine, coming up, gather, drawing in. So, I want you to split the legs, take the right foot back, the left foot forwards. We're going to take the hands onto the hips and I want you to have them at the top of the legs where the leg comes in rather than up onto your waist in that kind of hip position. So you're going to lean through from the belly, from the hips, from the chest, coming down over that front leg into our pyramid pose. Pudavottanasana, hands to the floor or to the shin, or you can keep them on the hips. And then bending that front leg, just take yourself off around to the right side. So you're in Prasarita Padottanasana, the wide leg forward fold. Lengthen through your spine. And then what I want you to do is I want you to start to walk your hands forwards and you're going to turn your feet out and bring your knees onto the ground. So that half frog that we did, we're now doing full frog. So bring your knees down and then start to walk your chest to the ground also. Take one more breath, bring the hands underneath you, push yourself up, lifting back up into Pressarita, turn the feet, lengthen through the spine. And then we're going to turn the feet and come onto side two. So forgive my bottom to you, but we're into side two, legs are straight, so we've now got the other legs forward. If you haven't, then don't worry, just switch them. Remember, you can start here. You don't have to come all the way to the floor. You can do a half lift, a three quarter or a full. And then once more, walking yourself around, coming into that presserita, just lengthen through the spine nice and long. Start to walk the hands forwards, turn the feet out to bring the insides of the knees down and then take the body down. One more breath, bring the hands back, lifting up. Walk yourself back in. 
turning towards that front leg, step forwards into that forward fold once more, take a halfway lift, breathe, as you exhale, hands down, bend the knees, jumping back, lower down and through, and relax yourself into the restorative crocodile pose, and breathe. Good, so breathing in, breathing out. Okay, bring your bottom back up into child. Or traditional child this time. Take the arms around behind you. And then bringing your body up, we're coming up to sitting. Sit on your bottom. Bring the soles of feet together. So this shape makes up a couple of different postures. It makes up butterfly or tortoise. Um, kanasana or konmasana. So what I want you to do is I want you to decide today where you're putting your heels. So if you've got them tucked all the way into the groin here with the knees out, back up nice and straight. This is our konasana, our bound angle pose. If you prefer a little more release, moving towards kurmasana, you can. And if you prefer full kamasana, you can come in here. And the same with your spine. Maybe you like the spine up nice and straight. Maybe you like to curl and curve forward. What I will say, and I do nag about this quite often, um, what happens when we curl the spine from the mid back and the upper back and the head is, yes, we get lower, but we're not actually working into the area, particularly in the hips and groin where this or these postures activate. So just kind of think about lengthening the spine and feeling that stretch on the inner thighs and in the hips rather than in the upper back here. Especially because I say it's really hot here today and if you start doing this, you start really struggling for breath and when it's hot, you need to breathe long and slow and deep. So just let the air flow and reach from the joints rather than from the neck and head. So you can always support if you feel like you need to dangle your head if it's a bit heavy. So, reaching through. Take one more breath here. And then lengthening and lifting up. Good, reach those legs long. Bend your right knee in towards you. Give it a squeeze. Lift up tall through your spine. And then step that foot over the top. Take a rotation around to the right. Coming into Ardha Matsi and Drasana. Breathe back to centre. Take a little counter stretch to the left. And then the left leg, I want you to see if you can tuck it back by the right hip. So folding it up so it's out in front, slide it back by the right hip, sitting up here in full Matsya and Drasana. If that doesn't work for you, of course, stay in the half version, that's equally as good. And then rotating round once more towards your right. Good. Back to centre, little counter pose to the left. And release. Let those legs come out. Little windscreen wipers here. Releasing them off. Letting go. And then sit back into Dandasan. Sitting up nice and tall first. Find your structure from the base up. Bend the left knee. Again, sitting up through the spine, crossing it over, and twisting to the left. A 
come back to centre, little counter pose to the right, just release everything off. This time, see if you can slide the right foot back towards the left hip and then sitting up tall. Rotating to the left once more. And then back to centre, a little counter pose to the right as we release off those legs. Give them a little shimmy shake, a little bit of a windscreen wiper. Nice job. Come down onto your mats, onto your backs. Taking a big, maybe imagine making an X shape with your body, arms wide, legs wide. Just release everything off, take a really big stretch. Reaching away, lifting away, stretching out. And then just bring your hands down a little lower, still quite a way away from the body. Bring the legs together. Bend your left knee and step it over the right leg. Now you'll feel that your left hip feels quite light, that's good. We're going to roll onto the right hip, but this left shoulder is staying down. We're going to start to rotate over towards the right, that foot over the top, weight of the leg pulling down, weight of the shoulder pulling down, twisting and stretching out along the side of the body. Turn the head to the left. onto your back, bend your knees, hug them in, rock from side to side, getting ready to complete our practice, bring the feet down, stretch out through the left leg, step the right foot over completely, let that right hip start to raise, start to turn onto that left hip, right shoulder down, looking for that beautiful duplicity, pulling here, pulling there, opposite forces, opening through the spine. Okay guys, rolling onto your back letting everything go. Final Shavasana of practice, bring your hands just slightly wider than your mat, turn your palms up, let your legs release and let go, rolling away from the hips. Tuck the chin in towards the chest, closing off through the throat, making a nice long neck. Close your eyes down and breathe. Notice where the breath comes in. Is it coming in through one nostril or is it coming in through another? If you can't make out which nostril, it doesn't matter. Just notice the breath at the nose. If you can't breathe through your nose, breathe through your mouth. Taking some moments of silent tranquility now. Release, relax, let go. 